Making a slideshow with open office and press. Okay, now a, a note. If you already have Microsoft Office PowerPoint, I would suggest using that because it is a bit a bit better. It's a bit more robust. However, it's expensive and many of you may not have it. So I want to show you a fantastic uh, piece of software that's actually free, doesn't cost anything, and it will allow you to make some slideshows which will certainly look very nice. It's a program called Open Office. Um, you can get it by going to openoffice.org. And they ask for your, I think, your email address, and then you can download it. It's a big program. It's about 150 megs, but I highly recommend it. It actually has a word processor, even a, a spreadsheet. It's basically um, Microsoft Office, but for free. So you just go ahead and you download it. Now, once you have Open Office, there are several programs within it, and you want to open up Open Office in Press, and that is where you'll be able to make slideshows. So just go ahead and download that. Okay, so here we go. I just went ahead and started Open Office and Press. You can see here that I'm just going to go through and show you how I would make a slideshow. I'm going to start with an empty presentation. Of course, if you have a template, you can use that, but I don't. So, if you want to, of course, you can use a uh, one that they already have in there. But I'm going to start from scratch. Okay, hit next. Uh, presentation background. Uh, you can you know you can go through and look and see what the different ones look like. I like the the gradient background, which of course obviously you can see with what I already have here. Let's see here. Let's see how this one looks. Okay, and of course you know you can pick one that I want to make sure that I pick one that's going to be easy to read. I want to have you know nice colors because it looks similar to what I have. Okay, select an output medium. I want it to be slides. Okay, I'm gonna hit next. Okay, slide transition, meaning when one slide changes to the next, we can have an effect if you want. Um, sure. Speed. Okay, medium. I'm actually going to be doing it myself. It's not going to be automatic. Default. Okay. Going to hit create. All right. Screen got a bit big there on me. Okay, so it doesn't quite fit. But you'll see here that uh, basically this is your screen, and over here are the layouts. So what we can do is we can choose from a layout already that's going to make things easier for us, or of course we can create our own. You can have pictures in your slide and whatever. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this one here because it looks like a good match. Okay, so let me bring up my script and show you how this works. Are you tired of losing money on the stock market? Okay. Tired of losing money on the stock market. Okay, so this actually isn't the best template because I need to just have this be here. So I'm going to go ahead and center that. Now I'm going to make it easier to read. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight the text and then go up here to the text size and make it pretty darn big. <laughs> that's, that's a little bit too big, isn't it? Okay, I think that's pretty good. It's pretty easy to read. If I wanted to, I could mess around with the, the font type to make it even easier to read. Uh, I'm always impartial to this. I think that's that's easy to read there. Okay, I'm going to make that a question mark there. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and we can go to the next slide. So I'm going to go up here, click on slide, and now we just created a new slide. Okay, this is slide number two there, two of two. And uh, what, what I guess I, I could do is go back to the first slide right here and copy this and then go ahead and paste. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm pasting my format in. So, there's my first slide. I'm going to go to the second slide and change this text to uh, my next stuff here. Okay, are you tired of get-rich-quick schemes? Okay. Are you tired of get-rich-quick schemes? Okay. Okay. 
All right, so there we go. Now the third one, and you get the you get the point. I'm going to go ahead and pause this and finish up my slides. Okay, so now I have my slides all written here. You see here, I'm just going to go ahead and delete that last one. And now we're all set to run our slideshow. Essentially what you need to do then is you can just go ahead and click on slideshow and it uh, pulls it up. Okay, and there we go. Of course, it's uh, bigger than my recording screen here, but you can see how it's going through each, uh, each of my things here. And there's a couple different ways that you can view your, your slideshow. Of course, we're going to be viewing it uh, one step at a time. But that's basically it. So in the next video, then, we'll take it a step further now that we have our slideshow created.